All right, so we're gonna cover some of the advanced flight modes uh, of the Inspire 2, and I'm gonna take off, and we're gonna start with... All right, we're gonna hold right there. We're gonna start with uh, tripod mode. So this allows you, it says, Tripod mode, flight speed, and control sensitivity will be substantially reduced for the fine control and more stable shooting. So it basically tones everything down so you can be more cinematic. So full stick forward, everything is just really slow and docile. And you can even fine tune that speed in the app. So, you know, this would be going 50 miles an hour plus in sport mode right now. But in tripod mode, it's just super smooth. So if you need those graceful, just really slow tracking shots. Um, if you want to do time lapse, you know, this tripod mode is really great for that. So now we have a stop button. When I want to get out of these modes, I can either hit the pause button on the radio or the stop button right there on the app. Now we can go to tap fly. Now this is pretty cool for a single operator uh, use because what you could do, I'm gonna climb so we can show this a little better on screen here. You don't really need to see the aircraft flying. But with tap fly, you just tap on the FPV camera feed. So basically always the direction of flight for the aircraft. So if we wanna go uh, over here, I just say go. And while it's doing that, I can put the box down and now I can control the camera gimbal independently. and just focus on my shot. There's really nothing out here to track right now. But tap fly mode allows you to basically fly at a certain spot while you control the camera. So if you just wanted to fly a straight path while you uh, track the car moving or some other subject matter, you're gonna be able to do that. And you can control the speed. There's a slider here uh, for that, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna climb back up. So let's see. Gotta start recording here. So let's just go to the field here. And then as we approach, slowly pan down. So it's basically going right where I told it to go. And you can stop it at any point and it's gonna sit right where it was. Okay, active track. Now this is the one that I think is really cool. What we do with active track is you can select something on the app, for instance, myself. So let me get to see this on camera here. All I'm gonna do is draw a box over myself and say, it says subject out of range, but it says go, that might just be an app thing. And then what I can do is it should follow me. One second. All right, so it's following me now. I'm recording this live. And it's gonna chase you around and it's gonna control all the camera movements. It's gonna do all the flying for you. You can even pan outside of it. All right, so that's Active Track. So, and it, it's really cool because it'll recognize a lot of different subject matters. If it's a boat, it'll you'll see the boat uh, in the screen. If it's a uh, car, it'll show you a car icon. You can kind of really tell 
what is there and what you're tracking and it kind of knows and it will keep up with it. So active track is really cool for that. All right, so it's a new day. We're at a new field and we're going to show you the Spotlight Pro mode on the Inspire 2. Now, this is great if you're a single operator and you need to get dynamic, cinematic looking shots. Spotlight Pro is going to be a great way to do that. It is really difficult as a single operator to fly safely, fly precisely and track objects and subjects in a way that is professionally done. So Spotlight Pro can help you with that. I still recommend having a dual operator, having somebody dedicated to operating the camera movement uh, to get the best shots. But Spotlight Pro is gonna be a great thing in those sticky situations where you just have to get it done and you're by yourself. And I'm gonna show you that. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take off. I'm gonna highlight myself as the subject. And what Spotlight Pro will do is keep that subject in the center of the frame, essentially. Uh, I can move the copter around and it's gonna continue to track me uh, while it flies. So it allows you to fly a specific flight route while keeping the subject matter you want on focus for the camera. So here we go, we're gonna take off. Take off. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna put it in Spotlight Pro mode and I'm gonna select myself as a, the object that I want it to track. We're gonna go ahead and start recording. And then now what happens is, as I move the copter around, the camera will stay focused on myself or whatever subject that you have selected. So you can do really cool uh, advanced flight paths with this and just let the camera do its thing. You don't have to worry about panning and trying to stay focused on the subject you can just fly the copter around and let it track you. So I'm not really trying to do anything crazy cinematic here. We're just doing a small orbit path. And what I want to show you right here is it can lose it. So it's not a perfect system, but it does kind of hunt around and look back for, you know, try to find you and pick you back up again. So I'm going to back up a little bit. We're going to say, here I am and now it's back on me. But if you don't fly really close, you know, over your subject, it's gonna do a pretty good job and it really is nice to not have to focus on framing your subject, flying precisely and safely. Now this is really tricky for me, I'm trying to hold the iPad up in front of the camera so you can see that. We'll also have a picture in picture view here so you can see the actual footage from the drone itself but it does a really nice job of actually panning and staying on the subject. It is smooth. You can descend and change altitude and it's gonna pitch up and just keep the subject matter in view, which is really what you want. So as I kind of rise and fly away here, gonna do a pretty good job. So, you know, I'm impressed with that. If you just have to have a single operator set up for a shot, this is gonna be a great way to get some cinematic shots done. So that's Spotlight Pro on the DJI Inspire 2.